Okay, we're gonna win some Paper Mario on the N64. As you can see, I've been playing this for a while now. Um, this is actually the second time I'm gonna try filming this video because I am trying this in a different room on a different TV, which honestly I don't think looks as nice even though this TV costs more than my usual TV. Um, but in the process, I karate chopped the camera stand here and it, yeah, ended up on the floor. So we're gonna try this again. I was about to show you a battle sequence. Oop. And it helped probably if I wasn't watching through the camera because <laughs> I'm screwing up pretty badly. So let's take out this um, shy guy that looks like a bush. Now this... Oh, now he has a hammer. I don't know if that's because he stole mine or what. Um, this is the spiritual successor to Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo. This whole series as well as the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and so forth series. Um, it's a very... Yeah, he did take the hammer, didn't he? Um, it's a very lightweight RPG. Oops, I messed that up. And platformer kind of mixed into one. The reason why I say it's a lightweight RPG is you do level up, but there's not a huge focus on ability stats. You have either health, flower points, or badges. And that's it. Let me make sure I got the hammer back. I'm not sure I can even check that. We're gonna just hope I got the hammer back. Um, so yeah, besides that, if you want to upgrade your attack, you do that by finding upgraded boots or upgraded hammers. There's not a lot that goes into this. Um, this is the halfway point of the game where in Shy Guy's toy box. And my goal is to give this humongous Shy Guy a piece of cake so he'll get off the train tracks and we can go around. They call him Gourmet Guy. I wonder why. <laughs> Food loving. Me too. He's hungry. Let's give him a cake. Now, I've had this game since about the time it came out. And on top of that, I have the strategy guide. So I'm a little... Oh my. And it must have been something extra in that cake. Something besides just cake. Uh, but what I was going on is I'm, I'm kind of at least knowing where I need to go. Got a cookbook. I think now I'm just supposed to go back and ride the train in the other direction. You can do a spin to kind of speed yourself up. However, if you don't jump at the end of your spin, you kind of stop at the end. So this game, I believe there is now four. There was this one, Thousand Year Door. Um, let's say just because there was um, the one on the Wii, which was very different. They took out the battle sequences on the one on the Wii. They made it where it was completely like a Mario game where you just walk up to characters and fight them in an open world setting. Um, I guess more like an action RPG than compared to a regular one that has battle sequences. However, these battle sequences weren't that much of a big deal anyway. They were pretty light on RPG elements, I guess you can say. Um, let me quick reference where I need to go next. Okay, so what I didn't realize is I was supposed to go on this side of the tracks, and I was supposed to take care of a few things before I went back. So I basically wasted my own time. But hey, um, even though I have the strategy guide, it is dark in here and I can't actually see it. Alright, so now with this one, there's a guy who has fire, which always means the same thing. Um, you cannot touch fire, obviously. Let's get to do this. Let me show you what the star power does. So in this game, besides Mario, you have your allies, um, which will help you attack people. And you get these star powers, which are really a part of the, the main point of the game was to rescue the star guys who were captured by Bowser. Um, Bowser also captured their star rod, which was this uh, like all-powerful thing that made him invisible. So what you're trying to do is stop him by rescuing all of the star guys, and they're supposed to be able to fight Bowser once they have them all. Um, 
So, like what we just did, you can only do it once in a while. If you can see in the top left, there is star points. Um, kind of like a gauge, just to let you know how many of that thing you can do. So we use two of them, there's only one left. Um, so when you're being attacked, if you push the A button time, which I did in that time, because I couldn't actually see the guy, the camera's in front of it, um, you can avoid attacks like that. There's also a little strategy involved, you gotta know which person to attack before others, because some of them attack you with more strength, or are harder to, to pretty much block because of the timing. Um, I don't know if you can hear me going crazy on this stick here, but if you want to power up your attacks, which I was thinking I wasn't paying attention, so I just got attacked, um, you can do things like this, hold the stick to the left until the big thing lights up, and then you can attack, which I did it wrong, and with Bo here, if you keep hitting it to the left, her charge um, goes to 5, and then you can just do more damage that way. It's so it's like a, a very lightweight RPG game for those of you who haven't played this. I've hoped a lot of people play this because this has been out since 2001 and it is a very good, very addicting game. It just takes Mario elements and combines them. Oops, that is a bad thing. <laughs> what do we got? What can we hit him with? Nothing good. So with things like this, what you gotta do is you gotta be careful with how you attack. So I'm gonna have to attack, once again, I did that wrong, um, with the hammer. I'm not gonna be able to use her because she's gonna touch the guy and he'll uh, burn her and then she can't do anything. So I need somebody, like for example, a bob -omb named Bombette. Wow, they attack hard, look at that. And I gotta get this timing right. I did not get that timing right. Um, but anyway, the reason why I'm using her now, this one takes a lot of concentration, a lot of button pushing. Um, is because of something like that. You can take them all out at once. Which I recommend. And hey, I leveled up. So, let's see. What should I do? Um, I think I, I tried to do them in order. I tried to do this one, then this one, then this one. And then work my way back and forward. I think I'm on the badges. So badges are a way for you to um, kind of power yourself up. I hope if I went into the section label badges. Um, you can do different attacks with badges. Or, which is my favorite thing, just use it for things like this. So even though I chose badge power, I just added my flower power. So now I have out of 30 for flower. And it just... You don't get those badges all the time, but sometimes you need other badges. This is what I was after. How do I hit it? There we go. Um, sometimes you need other badges to do certain things. So, I mean, it's not always the best choice to pick ones that help you out all the way. Um, but it's my favorite one to pick. So far, I've only completely died, I think, twice since I started this run. Um, once was in the desert, just because they had, like, poisoning ability, not poisoning, uh, dizzying abilities, which makes you kind of sit down. Um, and I just, I wasn't expecting that because it hadn't existed yet. And besides that, there is a shy guy in this box that you can choose to fight if you want to. Um, if you do, you win a really nice badge. But the thing is, he is very powered up compared to a lot of other things. And makes it really, really difficult to do. Alright, so we fixed the track. Which track did we fix? I think we fixed the one going this way. I bet if I went to talk to him... Huh, maybe we fixed the track going that way. Let's go to the green station. I think, honestly, it's the same from both directions. They both go to the same one. But yeah, you get the idea. Um, like I said, there is a lot of these games, and there's a lot of games that are very similar to this. 
I think there's five Mario and Luigi RPGs, there's the Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo plus four of these, so there's ten different games like this you can play, and I have never been disappointed by any of those ten. So, until next time, see you later.